Hey everyone, in this one, let's talk about how we can create a notification bot that will send us a notification whenever an element on a web page changes. Let's dive into a brief example on how we can do this. Starting out on Wayscript, I've already constructed a sample web page that we'll be using for this tutorial. We see that it's set up here with a little bit of HTML code and it looks like this. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna go and scrape this web page and if it doesn't say sold out right here, then we'll send ourselves a notification on Slack, Discord, or a text message. This is a pretty straightforward tutorial, so let's see how we can do this. What we'll need to do is if we want to check this every day, we can use a Wayscript time trigger. What this will do is give us an interval that we can set on when we can go and scrape that web page. In this tutorial, let's do it every day, but you could imagine that you wanted to run this every minute, 10 minutes, or something custom. Now, what we'll need to do to go and scrape that page is use Python code. We also have access to other things that we could have used here, such as shell, JavaScript, or Java. So just pick whichever one you know the best and use it. I'll use Python, and then let's go ahead and edit this code. We see here that that Python module is displayed here. This code below is just that HTML code that I set up for this page here. So now let's type in some Python. To use Selenium, we offer this code snippet that we'll start with. I'll link this down below, that way you can start with it too. And I'll also link my finished code, that way if you just want to use it, you can. What we'll need to do is send a request to that URL. So we have that browser.git right here using Selenium. To get that URL of our website, for me, I'll go and grab it from here. For you, just go wherever you're trying to scrape and grab that URL. So what we're saying, is using Selenium go to this URL. Then we'll change some of this. So instead of getting the page source, let's change this variable to say text, and we'll say find element, element by ID. And what this is doing is just pulling out an element from the web page that we're scraping. There's plenty of different ways that we can select certain elements on a web page using Selenium, and this is just one of them. We could use ID, XPath, locations, and a lot more. This is simple for us because in my HTML, I have an ID of status on that sold out string. So we'll just go up here and say status. Now, what this will do is give us a web element. So we'll want to be sure to pull out the text of that web element. And we can do that with the attribute dot text. Finally, we'll say print text to make sure that we're pulling out this element successfully. We'll go up to the top right and click the run button to run our Python code. And we should get back that result in our log. We see our HTTP trigger ran and I must have misspelled, I did, element. Here we go. And we'll run that again. This time we should get back a result of sold out. We see that our trigger ran for the HTML code. So that means we went and scraped it and we got that string of sold out. Perfect. So now we can do a conditional check on the string and then send ourselves a message if it changes. So what we'll do to interact with that variable is we'll write it back to the Wayscript system. We'll say variables, we'll give it some name. We'll just say text, and this will be equal to the Python variable that we assigned here of text. So now we'll run this again and we'll get that variable generated on the Wayscript platform. Now back in our tree, We'll just use an if statement, which is just a conditional. In this conditional, we'll say if text then does not equal, we'll do that using Python syntax. So exclamation mark equal sign does not equal the string of sold out. We'll need to make sure that this is the same casing as our variable here. That way, if it changes, we'll know. So at this point, we'll want to create that notification. And there's plenty of ways we can do that. If this is true, going down the, the true side of our if statement, we can pull in a Slack bot, which uses OAuth. So once you connect it, you can just type in a message to whatever channel you want, or we could use a Discord bot. So we can use the Discord module, pull that in, and we can do the same thing. These two work very similar. So we can just type in our message, to whatever channel we want. And we can pick those channels up here. Finally, one last thing I'll show you is we can use a text message. So we can connect a cell phone number and then we can type in the message here. 
And what this will do is send you a text message whenever this conditional changes. So now let's test it out. We'll go into that HTML code and we'll change that string of sold out to in stock. Since this is different than that conditional step that we set, I should get a message sent to my cell phone. We'll run our program. We should see a step saying conditional returns true. If statement is true and then sent text message to my cell phone, which I've named five in this case. And here's that text message. We could have also sent this to discord or slack, depending on what you find the most useful. But I hope this tutorial shows you how we can do it. If you have any questions or comments, as always, please let us know and we'll help you out until next time.